So today I'm going to show you how to install modlets. And the, ow, and the modler I've chosen is quite simply the most dangerous modler I have ever seen, ever created by anyone. Help! So let's begin by talking about mods. This is nexusmods.com forward slash seven days to die. This site does mods for many games, but we have seven days to die mods here. Here we have a few ones new today as I record this. Spidey scent sounds fun. And there's a few others here that's been put in it here this week. But these are not mods. These are actually modlets. These are things that change one or two little things about the normal game. A mod as such is something that changes everything, but still they're interchangeable in a sense. But if you want to be correct, we're talking about modlets today. This is one site where you can get a few things. The other site is called 7 days to die mods.com. And uh, in here, again, they call them mods. So I'm running Alpha 20. I can click on Alpha 20 mods and we shall see uh, lots of modlets that allow us to do different things. We can also actually find some full mods on here, but uh, it's a great place uh, to sort everything out and work out what to do. Now we're going to use the most dangerous mod there is today for our demonstration. I genuinely the most dangerous mod that you can download ever. And that is this one here the muted auger so why is this the most dangerous mod there is well i will you'll see by the end of this video keep watching it tells you how to install it and this is the problem we've got now uh since 20.5 they've changed where we actually put mods and this is all incorrect and that is why i'm showing you everything that i can do today to help you to make this work it says to go to your steam apps directory and uh stick in a mods directory that doesn't work at all we're going to hit download on this this uh, little uh, thing's going to download for us we're even going to click on how to install mods and again create a mods folder and put it in your steam apps directory this is now no longer the way to do it it doesn't work like this anymore and it's going to take a while for all the websites to update so now let's get windows file explorer open and we're going to go to our downloads directory and in there we're going to see the file that we have downloaded and in this case it's a zip file when you download modlets they can also come in .rar format or even .7z and i'll show you how to uh, open all of these types of things up and what you've got to do is you've got to install 7zip it's a complete completely free piece of software and the link is in the description for you to get that onto your PC if you don't have it so far. Now how do we open it up? Let's start off with the zip file and the zip file we right click on this and if you're in Windows 11 like I am now you'll hit extract all and if you're in Windows 10 then again you'll still see extract all and if we do that and then just hit extract what Windows does which is a little bit annoying is it makes a folder that is the same name as the file and then in it extracts everything that was inside which means we have gaz dash muted auger and inside we have gaz dash muted auger now what we need is these beautiful files here and we need them in a directory not in a directory in a directory if you know what i mean so it gets a little bit annoying because if you think oh i'll just kind of cut this out and i'll paste it here you can't or it gets confusing because we've already got a directory of this name so the best thing to do if you see this double directory is to kind of click on here and then type something like delete me because you're going to delete this in a moment go into this folder right click and then hit cut in windows 11 or or in Windows 10, actually click on the cut word, go back to your downloads directory or wherever you want to keep this and paste again Windows 11, the paste icon and Windows 10, the actual word paste. So there it is. And now I've got an empty directory, delete me. So I will delete you. Now we have gaz dash muted auger and we have the files directly underneath that folder. So this is how we want this to happen. Okay. So if you have 7-zip, then life becomes a lot easier. And you'll need that if you have any other unusual extensions that you aren't maybe aware of. And with this, you right-click. Now in Windows 11, 
you have to go to show more options and in Windows 10 this will come straight up. You'll see this new 7-zip little folder here and what we're going to do is we're going to extract here. Now I'm going to delete this because it won't let me do it whilst I've got something open and I am going to go to 7-zip. I'm going to hit extract here and this does the job properly because it makes the folder and the files are straight in there. No messing about whatsoever. If you have some kind of model it, top .7-zip, right click, hit 7-zip and do the same again. And with a RAR, if you've downloaded a model it, again, the same process over and over again. So basically, whatever the extension, 7-zip is going to do the business. Now, what we want though is this muted auger. This is going to be our little demonstration today. And as I say, it is the most dangerous thing you will ever, ever, ever use in game and I would certainly I'd love it if it worked and it does but it's just it's lethal it's lethal right what we're going to do here is we're going to take this file now you might want to leave it here you might want to drag it to your desktop you might want to do something with it but I'm just going to sit here and right click and I'm going to cut it so again Windows 10 we will cut it so this is ready to be pasted somewhere and what we have to do is no longer go to the steam apps directory we're going to go to a hidden directory where all our saved games are so there are two ways of getting to this directory one way is to go to your windows main drive usually well it will be your c drives and you can see the usual kind of files that you or the folders that you may see in there and one of them says users if we go into that there'll always be a public one and there'll be one with the name um, that you use to log into your Windows when when you when you go in. In my case, it's very unusually just J M S O N. It means something to me. Anyway, when we're in there, then you see all these files, but we don't see the app data file that we're looking for. So here's a little trick, one way of getting in. Up here we have the little folder icon. If I click on this, then all of those folders become words. And if I click, left click on the end there, I can go forward slash A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, and then hit enter. And I found my app data. This one was hidden away from us. If we're in that directory, you do not see that in this section here. When we're in that app data, we need to click on roaming and then seven days to die and this is where we're going to now put our mods here is my mods directory you probably well in fact you definitely if you've never done one before you won't have this folder here it will be completely and utterly empty as in not empty gone it's gone it's not there so you're going to right click and you're going to go new and folder and you're going to type mods once you've got that there, you go into that folder. We right click and paste. Of course, there is the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 option. And once we're in there, we need this seven days to die mods folder under app data roaming under your username in users. And in there, it should just have the files. Now we're ready to rock and roll with Alpha 20.5 and onwards, the new place to put the mods. There is another way of accessing this folder, and you can do that by hitting the Start button. So hit your Start button, click in the little box, and then type in percentage, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, percentage and hit the enter key what that's going to do is then take you not just to the app data folder but directly to the app data roaming directory so we click on seven days to die and again we'll find where we need to put the mods file and the folder with those files in there once that's done we're ready to boot up seven days to die so here i am in the physics playground and we have installed the mod no errors nothing like that we have the org in hand and this is why this is the most dangerous mod that you can ever put in the game. When you use the auger, instead of the sound being turned down for the auger, all the sound gets turned down. Oh my golly gosh. Which means you're having all the fun of mining and just imagine being underground doing this. But yet you can't hear anything. It's great because that auger's really annoying. But you can't hear the zombies either. So you're happily going around enjoying yourself. Saying, oh, I'm just going to get all of this stuff here. Little do you know that the whole place is... Well, here we go. Straight away, we've got a zombie coming for us. And I'll just continue, you know, 
quietly relaxing with my muted auger. Um, but no, behind me is coming someone I cannot hear. I have no idea that they're coming near me. And I'm just doing all my bits and bobs. And then guess what? Well, they are here and they're going to try and kill me. Ah, even when I try and kill them. Well, <laughs> I can auger them to death. But what's happening here is we can't hear him. We can't hear him. It is absolutely lethal. Um, I really wish we could turn down the auger individually. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from the creator of this mod. It is fantastic. But my golly gosh, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> I don't think he hit me, but I'm infected. I've got a knackered arm and I'm down to 40 health. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can get Steve. Steve, die, die. I'm doing your brain in. Ah, there we go. But yeah, you can't hear anything and it's crazy. But the mod worked. The modeler actually worked. And now it is in the correct directory. If you use the wrong directory, then I'm afraid it's not going to, you know, if you follow those instructions, you're not going to get anywhere anymore. Well, I hope that was useful. We're here in the physics playground messing about with our tips and tricks. We also look at all these POIs and we do live streaming all the time here on this channel. I hope that helped. Please hit like, comment and all that business. Why not even give us a subscribe? Help us build up those numbers. Thank you all so much for those who do and everyone who watched today. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.